just give you guys the chills, man. Bring it back. The old intro. My God. It's been so long since I played that intro, man. Man, I just, you know, after all the shit that's happened with fear and everything and everybody leaving 24-7 and stuff and not being able to, you know, get things going for us. Team-wise, you know, it just it, nothing's been going right. It's just been... A Debbie Downer to actually, you know, get my other computer set up and all that stuff and get that intro back. So, finally did it. Um, you know, I'm actually pretty complacent on what's going on right now. Uh, you know, I'm in completely under, uh, complete understanding. And I, I haven't done a video in a long time. Uh, actual call, like a Call of Duty commentary video for you guys. And you guys must have been fucking deprived, uh, j honestly. Um, but, you know, after, you know, Dito and them left Fear, it was kind of like a... I was really debating whether or not I wanted to, to quit gaming or not. Um, not because I enjoyed playing with them so much, but there's really no other options out there that I'm comfortable with. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm teaming with Assassin, um, but, you know, we're still teaming with... It's not like a full team, you know? It's not like we're... If, it doesn't feel like we're really teaming because we're teaming with two people that we uh, just had to pick up for the qualifier, you know? Um... And that's nothing against them. It's just, you know, we know who we would like to team with and, and you know, or, or at least run with. And it, we really can't because because of the champs uh, qualifier going on. And, you know, teams are all, um, you know, stacked right now. And they're playing for a million dollars and nobody wants to leave their teams or do anything stupid. And, you know, I 100% I agree with that. It just so happens that we've just got stuck on the shit end of the stick. Just imagine a stick getting slowly pushed into a pile of horse shit and I would be the very tip of the stick and assassin would be probably right behind me probably like on the bark that's kind of tearing off you know what I mean and that's us we got we really did get the shit into the stick here and and a lot of you guys don't realize I mean I got a lot of you guys saying you're not following fear no more and you're not following me no more and you I'm disappointing you guys but at the end of the day you really got to realize that it, it, we really did just get completely fucked out of a million, out of a chance to win a million dollars. You know, it's not like last year where we had our team set. You know, all we had to do was get on and grind. You know, or, or, or actually just go to the event and qualify. It's not like that anymore. It's online now, and online is the sketchiest shit. So I don't want to go too far in depth with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it off there and let you guys know that I am back. Uh, I found my motivation again. Um, I have a lot of things I want to talk to you about, and I'm hoping I can get it all out in this video. Uh, but I don't know what to start with. I guess I'm going to start with something fresh, something new. I actually upped my sensitivity to 5 sensitivity. And no matter how bad I usually get raped uh, by switching my sensitivity, I'm going to go ahead and keep it there. For the main reason that because we're still on Xbox 360 and it's not clear, Call of Duty Ghosts on Xbox 360 isn't clear. Uh, it, it, in fact, it looks like shit compared to Xbox One, and I'm a I'm an aggressive player. I've come to terms with that. A lot of you guys watch my stream, and you're like, "Well, you gotta start playing conservative and stuff like that." And I understand. I understand your your point of view, but I cannot play like that. I have to be aggressive. I have to, you know, be up in somebody's face, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, honestly. It really isn't because in this game, you need to have that type of player. On your team I mean almost everybody has one and I just need to uh, you know figure out what I'm comfortable with you know because normally when I play on three I'm like just thinking that people if I have a chance to turn left in the street and then turn right I feel like I'm too slow you know so I'm playing on five in this video I'm gonna stick with five it's something new it's something fresh and um, you know like they say how to get over a relationship you know you got to start doing new things you know if, if your girl dumps you or or, you know, and you're upset and, you know, you keep thinking about the past and what you previously did. The only way to get over it is to start with something new. With that being said, uh, Titanfall is going to be coming out and I'm thinking I want to branch off into Titanfall. Um, I've met a lot through this whole depressing bullshit, you know, uh, time that I've been going through with fear and... You know, when everybody leaving and stuff, I've actually had the chance to regroup with old Fear members, such as Brydog. Like, Fear members that you guys don't even, like, probably never heard of because they're, they're that old. Like, they're, they're fucking legends of Fear in the multi-gaming community. 
Um, you know, I, I've got an uh, opportunity to rekindle the flame with him, and, and, and same thing with Civil and Life Crusher and all these old members of, of Fear and just multi-gamers, and they're playing Counter-Strike on PC, and, and they're just really... Just just to know that they're still there. It was as if Call of Duty was taking over everything, you know, like console-wise. Back in the day, we used to play every game that came out, you know, and, and there wasn't one game that dominated everything. And, and nowadays, it's Call of Duty. You can't really switch to anything else because Call of Duty is the only game that's getting interest, that, that people are interested in right now. So just to regroup with them and talk with them kind of, you know, brought back my high spirits, you know, and fear and, and made me realize, like, what I have on fear and, and have you guys and... <sighs> Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But but seriously, though, just to have you guys, you know, and, and, and what I've developed with this team since since the beginning and with the help of you guys and the help of those members, it's just, it's really, it's really special, you know? Uh, it's some really, it's some gay shit, honestly. It really is when you think about it. But, uh, you know, I'm just lucky to have you guys, you know, and, and me not putting out the content that you guys wanted to see or you've been waiting to see and, and tweeting me. Like, let me give you an example. I'm a huge fan of, love, love like, 50 Cent and G Unit. And I would love nothing more. And I tweet them frequently. You might be able to see it if you follow me. Uh, if they would please, just please for once, get back together with Game and Buck and everybody, you know? Or just put out that type of music still. And they never do it. They never respond. And I really kind of put myself in that type of sh that type of person's shoes. Like, you guys want quality content out of me. You want commentaries. You want undercovers. You want all that shit. Why the fuck am I not producing it for you? That was was going through my mind. I started to ask myself these questions. And honestly, the only fucking reasonable explanation that I could come up with is that I was lazy. I was lazy. And I'm not going to be lazy anymore. I don't want to be lazy anymore. I don't want to upload clips from fucking YouTube and shit. And I've noticed... Uh, my channel took a hit. I took a hit really bad. You guys all left. There's a lot of people that aren't on this channel or probably won't even see this video just for the sheer fact that they're gone. And I blame nobody but myself. And to be honest with you, at the end of the day, when you want to fix something and you have to get things done, you only have to blame yourself. Um... Even no matter, no matter how bad I was feeling, you know, about all the people leaving after COD Champs last year when APOC and everybody dipped, like, no matter how bad I was feeling, I still could have kept it going, you know, like, because, I don't know, I just feel like it was waste, a waste of time, but in general, um, I want to go to Titanfall as well as Counter-Strike. I want to, I want to have those two divisions. Um, Titanfall looks amazing as well, by the way. I don't know if you guys have actually checked it out or had an opportunity to watch competitive gameplay of it. But it looks sick, and there's a lot of things a lot of you guys don't know about about that game that I, I recently found out. Such as, in League of Legends, you have three lanes and you have uh, creeps that you kill, like little bots, little 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 peons, minions, as you call them. Uh, and, and you kill them and you get gold, and then when you get that gold, you go on and you buy better items. Well, in Titanfall, there's these little creeps or these little bots that are around the map, so it's constant action that you can kill and you can gain more points to earn your Titan. And I think... The fact that them being on the map with everybody else, uh, that that alone will make it for a, a more a more exciting game because there's always action going on. You know, it's not just some stale shit like you play S and D and 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 Call of Duty and it's just completely stale where nobody's moving or or, or Blitz where you just you see somebody like me run across the map and uh, I go to shoot somebody or I go to cap a flag and somebody just pops out of the corner with an AR and kills me. Like you, you don't you, you won't be seeing that type of stuff. You know, the idea of that game just sounds amazing, and I really hope it turns out to be a good game. And with the video that I saw, it was 30% graphics, and it already looked good. Um, so, I wish I could link you guys the video, but it was removed. Uh, sad. Uh, I'm pretty sad about that, because I wanted to actually link it to you guys, so you guys get a chance to look at it for yourself. But, I don't know. I just, I'm ready for something new. Um, but I'm also ready to start developing content. Uh, a lot of content. Like, uh, you know, like... Um, blogs, I, I want, or not blogs, um, podcasts, that's what it is, podcasts, I want to start doing podcasts, I want to bring new people into fear, I feel like we need more people in fear, like, I feel like it's just me right now, and I feel like you guys only see it as me, and there's, and it's not, you have Luffy, you have Crank, you have a lot of other people who are with us that play PC games with us that you guys don't even know about, like Juice and etc, and you guys just don't know anything, you don't really know, you know, and that could be my fault too, because I don't explain it to you, but I want to bring more people in, I want to look at entertainment value and I want to entertain you guys. I want to be more than just a Call of Duty player. Um, I want to do casual stuff, you know? I want to do I want to do videos, uh, tutorial videos and stuff like I've been doing or like I have uh, did last week I put out. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see that. If not, I'll put them in the description box. But 
Uh, there's just so much more that I want to talk to you guys about, and I'll do it in the next video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please show your support with a like. I will be back posting regularly, daily actually. Um, and I will be streaming a lot. I've been streaming a lot now, and I got my sub button and all that stuff fixed up. So go ahead and check it out. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.